Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our November readings, monthly readings. Thank you for joining me. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you if you have. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And as always, these are general. I'm reading the energy, so take what resonates as it resonates with you and your situation. And be sure to watch all your signs to get the most you can out of these general readings. And of course, if you like a private reading, all that information is in the description box below. I see temperance. We'll see if it pops back up in the reading. I'm using the Prisma Visions Tarot. You can see that. Clarifying with the Spirit Animal Oracle and the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. So let's see what is coming up for Capricorn in November 2021. What's coming up for Capricorn in November? Capricorn in November 2021. There we go. Two of Wands. Temperance. King of Pentacles crowning you. Ten of Pentacles in the foundation. The Moon in the past. Queen of Pentacles and then your future. I feel like you're changing your mind about something. Ace of Pentacles in highest yourself. Nine of Cups in your environment. Page of Cups in hopes and fears. Ace of Wands in the outcome. Ooh, what are you doing, Capricorn? This is a very, a very nice reading. Bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. I also see something coming back around or you changing your mind about something. I do get that. I feel like one scenario I'm getting that I'm going to talk about just to get it out the way. You've already met the person you want to be with because we have the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, true pair here. And the King of Pent and the Ten of Pentacles uh, in the reading. You were together. There was a separation. There was a breakup or a divorce in the past. Some time has passed. I feel like confusion has cleared. If there was doubt, if there was confusion, that has cleared up. Now you see what you want. You know what you want, okay? After a time where you've been one foot in, one foot out, not sure, what if this and what if that, you have made a decision to walk away in the past. Currently, you're revisiting that decision. I feel like you're making... Um, an offer with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like it is accepted with the Nine of Cups in your environment. And you have a new beginning to a reconciled relationship. Can also be um, as a result of this reconciled relationship, could also be some sort of a pregnancy happening. Okay? So that's one scenario that I'm seeing very clearly laid out. So got that out the way. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, things are turning around in your favor with these cards, okay? Because the wheel is turning for better or for worse, but this is definitely for better. Um, there could also be some big changes in job or relocation, uh, or just a twist of fate, a turn around of a situation. Two of Wands in your current situation, you're looking at, what do I want to do? Do I... Uh, stay where I am? Do I keep things as they are? Or do I shift course? Okay, with the two of wands, because you kind of know what you want to do, but it's a matter of how would I go about it? Okay, that's what you're thinking. With the temperance energy, you're like, I need to weigh up my options, I need to do my pros and cons. Okay, it's a challenge if you're doing this for too long. If, if you already have your answer, it's time to take action. Okay, for some of you, I feel like you have your answer, but you're keep you keep looking for confirmation. Okay, so take that for what it's worth. Uh, we also have Sagittarius energy here. Distance might be a challenge. Travel might be a challenge. Um, and there's also a question around: Would this be reciprocated? Would I get what I am asking for? Okay, because the Temperance card can be a card of reconciliation, or at least meeting in the middle. Okay. Reconciliation can be romantic, but it's not always, okay? In the foundation, the reason for everything, we have the Ten of Pentacles. You have found the person you view as you're happily ever after. I could marry this person. I, I could have a family with this person. 
or a happy, long-term, harmonious relationship, okay? And your eyes have been open to this. In the past, you were confused about it. Maybe you weren't sure about the person uh, or you weren't sure about the situation or you weren't sure about how things were going, how fast they were moving, how slow they were moving, whatever. There was unsure energy here, okay? Fear, doubt, instability. And I feel like that has caused you to walk away or to turn something or someone away. Because of, every, of everything that's been going on, you've learned a lot about yourself. This is also a kind of a maturing energy, a growing up energy. And I feel like it's quite literally taking the bull by the horns um, and making it clear what you want. You're like, I don't I don't know if it's going to be reciprocated, but I'm not going to know until I try. So I'm going to try, okay, is the, the type of energy that I'm picking up on here. In your near future, so around mid-month energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again. Uh, for those of you, for some of you, sorry, you're dealing with another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you are dealing with the Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But regardless of their sign, this is a, a conversation. I'm seeing this as a conversation. Um, someone's been patiently waiting is also what I'm getting with this. This is also a conversation about the future, future goals, future plans, where you're talking about what you want to offer them that involves the future, okay? And how you see yourself, you're ready for this new beginning, you're ready to invest, you're ready to take that ace and turn it into all the way up to that 10. Your environment, I do feel like your feelings are going to be reciprocated or your offer is going to be received because we have a yes answer in your environment, a wish come true in your environment and that's coming in after this conversation. In hopes and fears, we have the Page of Cups. For some of you, you're hoping for a child, you're hoping for a baby. Uh, for others of you, you're hoping for a fresh start. You're hoping the feelings are still there and you can develop them. You're hoping you can trust and open up and be vulnerable. Maybe for some that was an issue in the past. Because the moon is also, it's just it's pure, it's raw emotion. So for some of you, maybe you did, just didn't know how to handle it. Maybe it just overwhelmed you. And the challenge here, you learned how to balance out your emotions. Okay? And so with the hopes and fears being the Page of Cups, it's like, I hope I don't get overwhelmed by my emotions again, but at the same time, I hope I don't close them off. Okay? In the outcome, you have this big, bold new beginning with the Ace of Wands. New life uh, coming into a situation. Restart. Refresh taking it up a notch and like I say it can be a very passionate new beginning that can result in a pregnancy okay for those of you that this is not happening within your love life you have a choice to make do I stay where I am or do I shift course you've been very confused about this for quite some time you've been kind of toying with the idea of changing your job or toying with the idea of changing where you live, or even changing your career. Because you're looking for that place that you can settle down in, okay? Whether it's a job or a career, even a home. Crowning you, I feel like you have, you're making some decisions, okay? With the King of Pentacles. You have come to some realizations as a result of time gone by, and you constantly weighing up your options. It's time to make a decision. Like I say, you already know what you want to do. It's time to take action in that direction. I do feel like in November, you're getting ready to do that. In the near future, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So that tells me, you know you need to be the king. You're showing up as the queen. So that tells me that you're kind of getting ready for it. Okay, this is preparation. You're gathering your facts. You're doing your, your calculations. You're doing your pros and cons. But not just for the sake of contemplating, you're like, I want to take action with this, so you're coming up with a plan, okay? Because I'm ready. I know what I want. I know where I want to invest. Whatever it is that you choose, it will go very well for you. We have the Nine of Cups here, okay? Wish fulfilled. If you need someone's approval, if you apply for something, you will be granted. If you request something, you, you will receive it. 
and the hopes and fears with the page of cups this is very hopeful energy right you're excited you're hopeful about this new beginning and then the ace of wands can be a new job you're changing jobs or you're changing careers careers altogether or you're changing where you live this is where you take action so towards the end of the month is where you take action towards this new beginning okay you could be talking to a friend or an advisor or even your spouse about what you want to do how they think you should go about it do you have their support and I feel like they're they're all for it they support you fully so that gives you higher hopes for this and it pushes you over the edge to where you finally take action does that make sense okay so whatever you're gearing up to do whether it involves your money or your relationships or where you live whatever okay whatever it is that you're gearing up to do and you've been toying with the idea of, a, of this change of going to something else doing something else okay I feel like November things align for you with the Wheel of Fortune in such a way where it doesn't seem as difficult to make the change if you wanted to make the change and so that gets you thinking could I do this now okay so then you start talking to people you have full support everyone's encouraging you everyone's supporting you if you need a loan you're getting it if you need a mortgage you're getting it if you need emotional support you're getting it and towards the end of the month third week to the fourth week they said wands you're taking action you're taking the bull by the horn and you have this new beginning now it doesn't mean you change your job overnight but you take action towards making that happen okay whether it means you start applying I feel like you're here you'll hear back right away if that's the case or if you have been applying but you haven't been pursuing it or focusing on it you know this is where throughout the month you're getting more focused you could have an initial yes and this is your interview that goes very well and you get the job does that make sense okay so clarify for Capricorn here Queen of Pentacles in the near future the Sun with the Queen of Swords yeah so talking about for some of you this is just talking about bringing clarity to why the ending happened what you've learned from the ending Queen of Swords can be that divorce or the breakup right and the Sun talks about bringing clarity to it but also healing that okay and for those of you this is um, this can be an interview with the Sun because like a face-to-face -face, um, coming with a contract towards mid-month and maybe towards the end of the month you get to start the new job or early December you get to start the new job okay so the timeline is gonna be different take it as it makes sense to you guys okay depends where you are in this process but it, it's looking great it's victory it's getting what you want you are seen in a very favorable light with whatever it is that you're doing here and the ace of wands in the outcome death yep five of pentacles five of cups what and the start there's a lot of fear you have a lot of fear around this fear of change you fear change because you're excited but then we have the death card with my two fives that talk about fear of change however the star card that's why i wanted to pull one more tells me that you will pursue this because this is your dream and again we have wish fulfillment you have the wish fulfillment in the minor and the major arcana you're on the right track if that's the confirmation you're needing i also see this as the end of uh longing for someone missing someone the end of feeling like you don't have love in your life the end of financial concerns the end of financial instability because again you're starting something where you can settle down into it right it's a complete transformation in your life with the death card this is finally moving it could be at a, a smaller distance or a greater distance than where you live for some of you are going overseas with the ace of wands as well or at a very um, very far away compared to where you live now okay but this is going to be the end of instability in your life five of pentacles five of cups emotional instability and financial independent uh, instability because you're going to have financial independence or just stability, security, harmony, 
when it comes to love and money. I mean, it's it's right there. Trust yourself and see this through is the message. Don't let fear hold you back. Don't overthink it. And once you get to your answer, take action on it, okay? I feel like you will feel a little push from the universe with the Wheel of Fortune there. It's almost like things are aligning in just the way where it's not so difficult for you to do this. It doesn't sound so complicated anymore. Does that make sense? So take it and run, Capricorn. Use this energy. I don't know what Jupiter and Venus are doing in your chart. Maybe check that out with your favorite astrologer. And let me know if you find out. Because I'm getting that kind of energy. I'm definitely seeing the energy of Venus and the energy of Jupiter. Growth, expansion with love and money. It means right there. I'm not an astrologer, but that's how it's coming through to me from what I do know of astrology. Let's see. What is the advice for Capricorn for November? Advice for Capricorn for November otter spirit you're never alone yeah look i keep seeing this card as your feeling your feelings are reciprocated you're not alone in feeling the way you do and like i say whatever you're asking or requesting or uh, applying for it's going to be well received or approved or granted to you that's how i see that card because you have the nine of cups in your environment you're fully supported no matter what you're doing or who you're talking to Turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. So this is, first of all, it's like optimistic. It's a abundance mentality, abundance mindset. And I feel like if you've been doing all the work so far, this is where you are receiving. So show gratitude, maybe pay it forward if you can. Um, and for those of you, this is just, again, you're you're receiving blessings for the work that you've already been doing. It's important to give back, okay? It's important to give back with the Wheel of Fortune there. So keep that in mind. One more. Whale spirit, trust the get up, can't speak. Trust the great mystery. Yeah, you're going deep with something, guys. You're going deeper with something. If it's a reconciliation of a, of a romantic relationship especially, this is going deeper. And I feel like you're not, uh, no longer running away from your own feelings. Uh, whether it's a romantic relationship or just an emotional component to it, you're, you're not afraid of your feelings anymore. Your feelings don't overwhelm you anymore. Okay? Frog spirit. I can't speak. Frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. Yeah, you're definitely making some changes with the death card there moving. Shows up very prominently. You're going with the death card. You're going from one chapter in your life to another. And it's important, again, that you go into it with gratitude, but you don't bring the past with you. Okay? It's like you're trying to move to a new place, but you move all the furniture and everything you had in your old place and you fill up your new place. Does, does it feel like you're a new place? No, it doesn't because it pretty much looks exactly the same because all your stuff is exactly where it was. You know what I mean? So don't do that, basically. Get rid of what you feel like you should get rid of. Start fresh. Okay, and let's see. Additional advice. Additional advice. For Capricorn, additional advice for Capricorn, for November 2021, additional advice for Capricorn for November, two cards, bottom of the deck, intention, this is saying make your intentions clear, okay, uh, make your intentions clear. So either have that conversation or apply for the thing or request the thing, okay, whatever it is. Make your intentions clear. It's crucial, okay? If you want to see this happen, it's crucial that you make your intentions clear. Perception and discernment. Yeah, there's something along how you perceive things or how you perceive yourself. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, it's almost like negative self-talk. 
and you keep putting yourself down or you keep crushing your own hopes before anything happens, right? Um, it's almost like when, as soon as, because that's why you have the page of cups in your hopes and fears. As soon as you find yourself being hopeful, you, you're you afraid that it's not going to happen. And so you start criticizing it or you start just overanalyzing it to the point where you just quit. You just quit because you're like, oh, I'm sure it's going to it's gonna go wrong. Just because you find yourself vulnerable to it. Because that's what happens when we're emotional about something, right? When we are emotionally invested into something, whether it's a person or a situation. So this tells you to be discerning of how you see things, okay? Five of Cups and Five of Pentacles are fear-based energy. There's nothing there to fear. That's not the truth. That is not the reality. So be discerning in how you view things. Be discerning with your own thoughts, especially about yourself and what you can and can't accomplish. The only thing holding you back from all of this is your own fear, okay? That is what has held you back before. But trust that you've learned from that, okay? And prove that you've learned from that by taking different actions. Don't fall back on self-sabotage, Capricorn. Heads up, be careful, okay? So, I'll leave it there. Keep looking at this wheel. It's like it's diving in, right? So this just tells you, dive in and trust. It's like the full energy. Dive in and trust, hope for the best right? What, what does that cost you? Just just go for it. Give it your best shot. Just hope. Be optimistic. Be positive, okay? Grateful mentality here. Abundance mentality, okay? So I'll leave it there. Let me know if that makes sense to you. If you're dealing with this kind of energy, I hope this helps you because it's, you just need to stay focused, right? You just need to get a hold of your thoughts and your fears and just stay the course, Capricorn. That's all you have to do, okay? Trust yourself and stay the course. So I'll leave it there. I hope this helps. Be sure to watch all your other signs. Make the most of the month. It looks amazing. Um, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye for now.